Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Scale Collection. My name's Tyrone. Today I have a double wave of 2023 Matchbox 5 packs to show you. There they are there. We'll get to each one as we go. Uh, as well as flood the table with some of my favourite castings among the bunch or bunches. MBX Construction is the first one I've got to show you today. There's the card art. A uh, bit random to see a hall pack um, in amongst apartment buildings. Normally they're a mining truck, but there she blows. Um, decent card art, I'll give them that. A lot of Matchbox stuff here, or MBX, as they're known as. Uh, instead of a licensed product, they just go to MBX, don't they? We've got the backhoe, the turf hauler. Which one is the turf hauler? Is that the turf hauler? No, that's the road scraper. What are they calling the turf hauler? That now? Hmm. How many names has that had now? Um, road roller and the Chevy Silverado 1500 thrown in for good measure. Let's crack it. Or split it. Whatever you want. 70, um, 70 years anniversary on all of these this year and probably bleeding into next year. I'll get them all out of the rattly old plastic and we'll take a proper look. Starting with the backhoe. Eh, Grayed out windows. Where are the others? Uh, yeah, we've never got an interior on this one. But it looks a bit stark with the grey window treatment. 2018 on the base so it hasn't been around for that long but they did give it to us in INC and National Parks and a few others already. Was there a Rennick? Can't remember. Probably. If it hasn't been out it probably will be out in the backhoe. Uh, I won't flood the table until I get all the five packs unboxed because there's about 20 of these to show you. I call it the whole pack. It's been called so many other things, hasn't it? Today we're calling it the turf hauler. Interesting. Plastic dumper, plastic base. Uh, it always had the plastic base, didn't it? From even the late 70s when the original came out. But uh, we'll show you that and many, many others as we go. That's in the lineup of five. The road, road roller, a uh, much better colour scheme in this iteration. I've had some weird and wonderful colours, contrasting reds and greens and things. They weren't to my taste, but this one looks pretty good. I won't judge you if you collect that, because I collect this one. And uh, I know many of you collect this one as well, the road scraper, looking good in orange to black contrast. I like that one. And the star of this five pack at least is the licensed and only one licensed, the Chevy Silverado 1500. That's a very popular casting, 2014 copyright on the base. That looks good. Yeah, Silverado on the back end. Big trucks, aren't they? Really big trucks. So that's the first five pack. We'll just go, let, let's do this one. Because the Bronco is the biggie in this one. Warn is the company, Warn Industries. It's a real company. They've been going for 75 years. Matchbox has been going for 70 in all its guises. I've got the Bronco as the star of the show on the art. I've got cheap international. Ford International again and Matchbox and of course the guest in Warm. Plenty to, to like about that. That's the uh, back of the card. Briefly, don't get uh, much attention do they, the cards or the boxes around here. Got a comment from one of my Dutch friends on uh, one of the older videos I did, 
He seemed to be quite heartbroken that I destroyed some 70s packaging. It was the first time he'd laid eyes on some of it and it was being destroyed. He said it was quite sad to see. I'm sorry about that, but uh, that is what I do. <laughs> and uh, I was never a collector of cardboard, always a collector of the actual product. Is that the same? It is the same. I'll bring out a bunch of these. Um, I have quite a few dozen vehicles to show you today over and above the five packs, so stay tuned. But that is the Jeep Willys looking good. Uh, did they put the one? They did too. Did they? My glasses aren't powerful enough. No, they. No, there's no change there. I have to get my ultra high powerful magnifying glass onto that. I thought they did. That is, that is. Huh. I didn't realize that, that was already there. Interesting. I'll have to go through every one of them I have now. Oh, I can both stay out now. Just to confuse, no, we'll put that one back. And we have the MBX, what do they call that? Just 4x4. That's about as stripped down a name as you get, MBX 4x4. Got a Christmas edition of that randomly. Now we'll go down just a fraction so we're not cutting off heads and photos. The International Scout. Nice. And the other random parts delivery vehicle, Little International E. He's something or other. E star, that's right. And of course, the star of the show, the Bronco. Did not, have not got the, did not get, have not got the chase piece of this, but cool to have this one. I think that's about the third. We'll get to that as we go. I keep on looking behind me because there's so many things to show you today. I'm very excited to flood the table once again. So I'll shove those off to the middle distance. Ooh, let's go for the cruisers, the coffee cruisers Mark IV. Uh, card art is the Aston Martin, which is a repeat, but that's okay. We've got some pretty cool things here. What are you seeing? Do you see anything at all? For goodness sake. Swear to God, you fidget. Well, I'm not looking. Matchbox at the top. We've got some so random Russian writing. I don't know what that's about. Is there a spy in Mattel? Ford, Cadillac, Aston Martin, Chevy, and Chevy. Beautiful Chevys. Um, I did show you the card art. And I have now, anyway. I remember the uh, 70s video I did. It's called peg hunting in the 70s and I lined up the, be the peg board with um, very rare and exotic cards and systematically destroyed most things. When I read the comment um, I felt for the viewer it's hard to do sometimes but um, yeah I've got to free the piece. Look at this. Nice. I wanted to get out everything of everything I had to show you, but I don't have the table space for it, and quite frankly, none of us have the time. 1932 Ford Coupe. Lovely green. Look at that. There's a matte red and a, I think a yellow one and all sorts now. That's great. I have to expand my, uh, my street rod drawer. Because I only have a, a 25 capacity, so Aston Martin is a reissue. So if you didn't find it the first time, or the second time, or the third time, or the f you get the picture. What year is it? 1956 Aston Martin DBR1. 2019 is the copyright, but uh, we've had quite a few iterations of that, including the Top Gun. Was that the color in the Top Gun? There's a silver and a grey, and others. Love this one. Not sure if it's a reissue or a recolor. I think it's just a reissue. 
97, so been around for two and a half decades, 1970, El Camino in black. Sweet. Try spokes. I think that is a, just a straight up reissue. Lovely. Oh, don't they go well together? Fantastic. 47 and a half Chevy AD truck. Nice. So cool. But maybe a reissue as well. Lovely paint job. Nothing's nothing's fancy on this thing, but um, that is a sweet paint job. Love it. And wow. Uh, I will bring out where is he? I've got a bunch of Cadillacs to show off, but uh, that's the previous. Love it. Don't they go well together? Hmm. It's got to be in context, doesn't it? Because if, if you throw that colour on that car, it'd be like, huh? But, yeah. So cool. Very cool. Uh, forgive me blinding you with the base. Yes, Seri 62. It's the caddy. Mm. And last one before we flood the table. And we should make room already, shouldn't we? Actually, I'll leave the back row vacant except for the hall pack, not the turf, whatever. MBX Wagons 2. Not sure why they're saying MBX because nothing's unlicensed here. We have the Russian writing, then Austin Mini, Mercedes Benz, the Mini Countryman, which is quite a foul car in real life, but quite a nice casting in Tiny Land, and the 89 Jeep, Jeep, Jeep Wagoneer, and uh, the Volvo. V60 wagon. My eye was caught by something else. I had to find where I was looking. Uh, I've got the countryman on the card art side and back. Wagons 2. Volvo's come a long way, hasn't it, over the decades? Of course, the Chinese own them now, so I, I noticed the ad campaign, the uh, voiceover has a Swedish accent which I find quite comical. Maybe they're running 100% of the show, and maybe they're not. Little panel van from Mini. I thought it was a recolor, it is not. I'll get that one out before I get the other 4,000 of them I, I have out to show. Junior Mints, this one was supplied to me generously by David at Twice Starcast. He gets a lot of mentions on my channel because uh, he gives me a lot of stuff. <laughs> he gives me a lot of stuff. But, um, well, we swap a lot of stuff. And he gives me a lot of stuff. Great guy. Uh, but this is this year's version. Looking great. Looking fantastic. Never say no to another Mini. Um, do I need to move you around again? Shuffle you around the class? Got a lot of cardboard dust on the table. It's usually the case. Volvo is in... Lovely blue. I don't know if this is a reissue or not. They blur, don't they? But looking great. Fantastic. 2015 on the base. That's about as long as I've been collecting again. My collecting part two in my life. Mercedes looking great again in a very appropriate colour, 1980 Mercedes-Benz W123 wagon. Hmm. Again, you throw that colour on that, no one's going to get it. No one's going to go along with it. But you throw it on that, yeah. The Wagoneer in white with the uh, imitation woodwork, looking good. Ray base, nothing wrong with that. And uh, the questionably uh, produced Countryman. As I say, the tiny one, fine. The real life one, what? 
not going to buy it. Don't even like looking at it in traffic. But there it is, the 2011 Mini Cooper Countryman. Now they've got some kind of split door thing going on. It's like, give it up, boys. Just please. Please. All right, let's flood the joint. I've got to take quite a step back and maybe a move up. Adjust your neck brace. There you go. All right, let's flood. So we'll throw this in. Actually, we'll go real random. We'll keep these in the middle-ish, and uh, we'll just sort of pile on like it's the end of a footy game. We're the wrong team one, and the fans are irate. <laughs> but, ooh, that's a bit of a clash, isn't it? We'll throw in some civilian colours, or one at least. Oh no, two. No. But I love that colour. That goes so well over here with the red one. Brown one can go with the MPs. Got so many to show you. So we'll just get them in real fast. Yeah. Wheel variation. Imagine if they gave us a wheel variation on everything they did. Um, if you saw the last uh, show and tell, there was a wheel variation in the power grabs for the 2023 uh, Ute. Oh. Oh. It's always a surprise when you pick up one with a metal base. That must have been from the Lesnar collection. Wow. Lovely surprise. If you uh, don't spend the time you should with your collection, you forget what you have. And... Um, that's part of the fun, isn't it? You entertain yourself no end. That one, they don't have to do much to force us to buy another one, do they? And of course, that's where it all came from. And I won't drag out all of those, but we'll pop that one there, just almost still in shot. I uh, put that one out earlier for the caddy. Get rid of that. Speaking of other caddies, I don't need an excuse to bring out Cadillacs. We've got very old and very cool with the metal base for the Lesney edition. And we're going to have a full table. I better pack them in real close. And if the ambulance ain't working, bring out the hearse. Both Lesney editions. Nice. I almost just forgot the reason I bought out the Cadillacs, but <laughs> of course it was for that one. So, as I say, any excuse. Elvis is back in the building. Some flash. Rubber tires on that one. And while I've still got room on the back row, I'll bring out all the haul packs or turf haulers, as you might know them by now. Some bling. Everyone brags about a 22 inch wheel now, don't know what they would be. And some Yoldi originals from the late 70s. Same casting, isn't that amazing? Everything metal except that little sliver of chassis. Some randoms. That one was from the uh, Junkyard 5 pack. If you're looking for it. That one noticeably lighter with the plastic tipper. Then they waste up the colour scheme to cheer us all up. Again, metal there, plastic there. And so many more. Isn't it random that you get stuck collecting things like that? But uh, the more they appear, the more you want to see how far it goes. And boy, doesn't it go far. I know these are off shot now, but what do you do? What do you do? And last one. They look similar, but just in case you think, hey, he's got some doubles in there with the uh, pan around later. Completely different. Nice. All right, that's those. I've uh, got some backhoes to show you, if you're interested. <laughs> and why wouldn't you be? 
I don't know where his buddies are, but there's some friends. And see, there's others too. I'm sure there's a Rainac one somewhere in here. And got a couple of Wagoneers. Nice. Pop those over the back. Wait for their mate. And the two Broncos. As I say, I don't have the chase piece. I was offered one at discount by a friend of mine, but it was over $100 discounted. So I'll let the chase piece go. If you have a chase piece, by the way, hang on to it. Don't do what I do. Don't take it off the card. You'll be able to pay off your mortgage. And a couple of Silverados. Nice. Put those there. And oh, don't forget him. I have one without the uh, decals. It's a custom from Sparky from Cooks Harbin. Um, and I have a couple of W123s. I'm sure I had an orange one of these, but uh, with the sweep around this morning to give in some friends of the show, I couldn't find it. So you just have to trust me that it's still on the premises. And uh, a couple of wagons just as consolation prizes that I couldn't find <laughs> the orange one. Ooh, can't put black with black. It's not a funereal. And that lovely little Polizzi one. Metal base. Love the metal base. Didn't have to be Lesney editions back then, did they? They just did their job. And then we'll go back just a little more. Have to get some binoculars. Some field glasses. I was on an A380 about four, 10 years ago actually, coming from LA to Melbourne before traveling on to Perth. But uh, we're on a Qantas A380 for like 15 and a half hours. <laughs> that seems insane now. I haven't been on a plane for three years. Anyway, and this Canadian couple were one of the few other people on board. And uh, the old Canadian dude was so excited to be on this monster aeroplane. He came up to me and he says, what do you think of this aircraft? I says, isn't it great? And he goes, yeah, you need some field glasses to see down the other end. And surely you did. It was an incredibly large aeroplane. Fun to be on. Well, we talk about tiny, tiny cars. Um, I'm showing them up to you like, do you have this one? Do you have this one? And obviously it's a game at home, isn't it? I hear or read a lot about um, comparison viewings. Oh, I don't have that one. And then, of course, the ultimate backup is, yeah, but does he have that one? And usually no, because there are so many to collect. I love this blue one. So plain, so simple. A bit like your host. Lovely. Oh, look at that. The hearse goes very well with the delivery van. A bit morbid, but anyway. And we've got these two. Nice. Put that there. And lucky last two, the one I showed you earlier. And this baby. I kind of feel bad about the price of the Chase Piece Bronco going to over $100 now, but I kind of feel good that I picked this one up pretty cheap. This is the Lesney version, so it's got the metal base. Um, I got it for so cheap because it was part of a quite a major haul, and that goes for over $100 too, so even loose. So I put that one out front, and man, what a show. What a display. Magic. Well, I've kept you for 25 minutes. I thought I'd, I'd go for a four or five pack viewing today because I was so excited to get them all open and so excited to show you quite a substantial chunk of my collection. So <laughs> any excuse, man. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.